What's up guys? All right, so spring's almost here. It's time to start carrying a little more comfortable EDC. It's early March right now. It's 67 degrees here. I know a lot of you all have some horrible snow right now and I, I apologize for that, that sucks. But here in Tennessee, our weather is pretty nice through like nine months out of the year at least. Um, so the last couple of weeks, we've been pretty much in the 70s every day and uh, I've been wearing short some, so it's time to actually cut down the EDC a little bit to uh, to include more comfortable stuff. And I know you all be interested in some of the stuff I'm carrying now since uh, it's getting warmer weather. So without further ado, let's dig into it. Oh, hey there, guys. What's going on? You may be wondering what I'm doing. Well, if you have friends like mine that like to borrow your pew pews from time to time and you want to make sure they didn't do any lewd activities before they brought them back to you. You can do like me and check them out with your brand new Olight Art Build with the UV light instead of the laser. It'll also help you find dog urine stains. And when I get done examining the situation, I like to throw on my Olight pair and headlamp uh, so I can make sure that I have all the dirt, debris, and carbon out of my gun. So next time I take it to the range, it's squeaky clean and ready to go. If you'd like to pick up an Olight Perrin or one of the brand new Arc Fells with the UV light, well, you're in luck. Olight's having a sale from right now until March the 16th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time, where you can save up to 40% off many items on their website. Linked in the description below. And remember, if it's not on sale, you can always use discount code GEARRUNNER to save 10% off. Now let's get back to the video. Oh God, what is that? All right, so some of this stuff has changed, um, but some of it has not. Um, we're gonna save this for last because I know you're gonna know what gun I'm gonna be carrying and what holster and stuff like that. So we're gonna save that for last, so stay tuned. Uh, but let's get into some of the stuff that's not changed. Uh, I, I carry a Ridge wallet. Uh, one of my subscribers bought me this and I've been carrying it. You can see it's got tons of wear on it. Um, I've carried this thing every day for probably close to a year and a half, two years. And I need to do a full review on this now that I have a lot of time in my pocket, but I carry a Ridge wallet every day. It's, it's carbon fiber and uh, it's very light, very slim. And uh, you just kind of forget it's in your pocket. I had horrible um, back pain, like sciatica pain and uh, I started carrying it in my front pocket, that all went away. Next is the Garmin Instinct Solar. Um, been wearing this for quite a while now. I really like it, um, and I'll probably continue to wear it until I find something I like better or I can afford a Rolex. Uh, still carry my rat's tourniquet. Um, I always carry a tourniquet. If you're gonna carry something to induce trauma, carry something to relieve it. So uh, I always carry at least one tourniquet, sometimes two, but most time just one. And, and the rats is so small, I keep a ranger band around it, hold it together, and uh, you just kind of forget it's there. All right, here are some of the items that have changed a little bit. Um, first of all is this brand new Olight Arcfeld. Now this one is the one you seen earlier in the little ad I did. Um, it does have the UV light on it instead of the laser. And I like that better. There are instances where you need a laser. I get that. With me, I never use the laser, ever. Um, I just never had a need for it. I'm not saying don't buy the one with the laser. If you have a cat, you know, it's fun to play with cats with lasers. Or like I say, if you work in maintenance, you can point at things in the air and up in the sky top of the building that you can't really reach if you're on the ground trying to direct somebody to something. Um, but I didn't do any of that. So the UV one actually is probably a little better to me. And they've actually uh, put some serrations on the side right here to get you a little bit better grip on it. They also changed the pocket clip so that you can now, if I can get it, use it as a headlamp if you choose to do so. But here's the UV light. You really can't hardly see it. It's on, but you really can't hardly see it. Um, I do wanna tell you some things about this that I found out that UV is good for, and this is why I want to use this light. And uh, you all may not need it for the same thing, but for me, I travel a lot. I'm always on vacation, you know. I'm just 
want to give you a few reasons for UV because you may wonder why you want UV light. So uh, here's a couple of reasons. Um, I travel a lot. And from what I read online, I always check my bed in hotels for bed bugs. You do not want to bring home bed bugs. You don't want to do it. It costs a fortune to get rid of those things. So I'm always extra cautious. Um, I've been lucky so far, knock on wood. Um, I've never done it, but it does cost a fortune uh, if you need to get rid of those. UV light will detect their eggs um, and their droppings and make them kind of illuminate or glow from what I've read online. So if you take your mattress and you lean up on the side, you look in the in the cracks of it, if there's any kind of signs of bed bugs, UV light uh, will make that glow and you'll know that there's some somewhere. You may not see bed bugs, but you'll at least see um, if they've been around. So you'll know to either leave that hotel, condo, or ask at least for a different room. You don't wanna bring any hitchhikers home with you. Um, scorpions glow. So if you're in that neck of the woods that have scorpions, uh, they glow as well. And you may not always be able to see them uh, with the flashlight. So uh, the UV light will definitely help you out there if you're walking through the yard or something. And let's say you're a hunter, or a law enforcement officer, and you're looking for something that you've uh, wounded, let's say, uh, blood also will light up under UV light. So there's just a few uses. And uh, again, I do like this one better because I can use it as a headlamp. I love headlamps, as you've seen in the commercial also. Um, uh, but I love headlamps. And I'm not going to carry a big headlamp on me, but having something I can go hands-free with is definitely a plus. So check them out. All right, next is this Microtech uh, LUDT. It's the large underwater demolition team. I really, really like this knife. You can see it's already got some wear on it where I've been using it. Um, I do need to have my pocket clip fixed. I guess I sprung that somehow and uh, I need to have it tightened down because I have actually had this pull out of my pocket um, when we were buying Pam's Lexus. Um, I was sitting in the finance office and I got up and just happened to stick my hand in my pocket and felt that it wasn't there. And I got up looking for it and it had fell on the floor beside me. And I have an, a feeling that uh, it just wasn't quite tight enough. So I need to take this back to Microtech and have them fix that. Luckily for me, um, they're just about an hour up the road. So I can take this up there, have them pull this off and uh, fix it. They you do use proprietary hardware and that's why I have to go drop it off. A tool for this, if you buy it, just an aftermarket one is like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, if you buy Microtex, it's $300 to be able to take your knife apart. Nope, I'm gonna take it up there and drop it off. Let them do it for me. All right, now, as most of y'all know, if you watch my videos, you know, I just picked up a Lexus ISF Sport. I still have my truck and my Mustang and my Corvette. Uh, but daily driver is my Lexus IS um, F Sport. And uh, these are my keys. I do want to say, I like that I don't have to pull my key fob out of my pocket to open the door. Uh, but the way the keys hang down right here, it gets a little cumbersome in your pocket. Uh, but I'm getting more used to that. I do carry that in the pocket with my knife and my wallet. Uh, so that is a, a lot in my pocket. Uh, but I am getting a little more used to it. Okay, so I also uh, use a phone, which I'm actually uh, filming this video with. Next, it's what you all been waiting for. So comfort is a big deal to me. Um, if it's not comfortable, I'm probably not going to carry it or I'm not going to carry it every single day. I'm going to go to something that is comfortable. And the most comfortable setup I have ever carried in my life is the SIG P365, just a normal P365. You can see how I have it set up. Um, just a normal P365 with a 15 round magazine in this, what used to be multi-cam black um, Tuxton tactical holster. Uh, it's not multi-cam black really anymore. That's how much I've actually carried this. But if you look on the back, I've got a Gun Z holster, or not holster, but video up. Um, it is this padding right here. A lot of you asked me in that video if you could use this as like a um, uh, pad down here at the bottom or a wedge. That's what I'm looking for, like a wedge and kind of push the gun back. Plus, it, this is where the Kydex holsters for appendix carry 
actually rub you or get a hot spot is down here towards the bottom. So as thick as that is, and it compresses very well, um, this actually does help. So I'm still testing this right now. I put it on a few days ago and I, I'm just trying to test it out, make sure how well this works before I do a final video of the Gun Z products. Um, but so far so good. This does kind of work as a wedge and it does give you enough padding uh, that it doesn't create a horrible hot spot and it kind of pushes the gun back um, against your body. But I've only carried it a few times like this. So that's just my initial um thoughts on it but once i've carried it a little while longer i'll give you my final thoughts on it but in my opinion you just can't beat the size of the standard p365 it's such a small gun such a small package in this holster that moves and there's lots of companies that make these appendix rigs that have like this shock cord here that allows the holster to bend and move with the body. They're just more comfortable than ones that are just totally stable. I love my QVO holsters. They're comfortable, but um, holsters like this um, are a little more comfortable in my opinion. And like I said, when you add this padding on the back, um, so far it seems to make it a little bit better. And that will be everything I carry um, in the spring, summer, and mostly through fall. Now, a lot of you will say, you like optics, and I do, I love optics. This pistol did not have an optic, and it probably will never have an optic. Most situations where you're gonna need a firearm will be with inside seven yards, so do you need an optic? I don't know, some of them are a little further. Optics are a little quicker, in my opinion, once you get used to them. Um, but I do feel comfortable carrying this gun. I've carried this gun for a very long time and uh, I will continue to do so. Does that say I won't carry another gun at all during the summer? Probably not. Sometimes I will carry something a little bit more fancy, um, but most of the time I want some comfort and this is what I go for when I want some comfort. Again, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, um, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, while Olight is having her sale, um, you can pick up one of these arc fields. I have a video of this comparing it to the uh, Streamlight Wedge. This, in my opinion, is a much better flashlight than the Wedge, and it is less expensive. Um, so go pick one of these up. Use my discount code and my link in the description below. Discount code only works on anything that's not on sale. So if something's not on sale, you can use discount code Gear Runner. Uh, but if it is on sale, um, my discount code will not work. Again, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.